Well, welcome back everyone to another awesome Planet Fitness workout. With me, I'm Diego, a trainer here in Fairfax, Virginia. I have an awesome, fun workout for you today. I'm really excited for us to knock it out together. Thanks to our team members here. They've been working around the clock to keep the gym nice and clean so that you can feel great about your workouts. You can help out too by scrubbing up before and after your workouts and by utilizing that cleaning station behind me. Like I said, we got an awesome uh, core focus workout for us today. It's going to help build a nice and strong abdomen. I'll show you how we can modify certain exercises here in the 360 area. It's going to be a fun and inclusive workout. So anyone of any experience can hop in and join the fun. Before you get started, you already know we got to get started with that good old warm up. It's going to help get our body ready for physical activity and prevent injuries. All right, let's go ahead and get warmed up together. So for our first warm up, we're going to start off with an exercise called windmills. We're going to position our body kind of like a star all spread out. And we're going to go ahead and have our opposite arm touch, bend over and touch that opposite foot. And of course, we're going to alternate. Each warm up is going to be 30 seconds of work and then 30 seconds of rest before we get into the next one. All right, let's go ahead and get started together. Windmills. Go ahead and get started in three, two, one. Ready, go. So for this one, we're just gonna bend at the hip, also known as hinging at the hip, all while keeping our back and legs nice and straight. Really important that we take it nice and slow and pace ourselves, because after all, this is just a warm up. Okay, we're only going for 30 seconds. We're already 20 seconds in. We only got 10 left. Make sure you breathe. And go at your own pace here. Last few seconds in three, two, one, and rest. All right, the next one, we're actually gonna stay in this stance, that good old wide athletic stance, and we're gonna do side reaches. So we're gonna be working out the core. We're gonna go ahead and get this core nice and warmed up. From here, nice athletic stance. We're gonna go ahead and reach to the side, nice and far, nice and slow, and alternate switch to each side. Same thing, 30 seconds on, 30 off. With me in three, two, one, ready, go. There we go, nice and slow. Kind of get that feeling that we're getting extra blood flow to those muscles. And of course, we're gonna keep that breathing nice and steady. We don't wanna get that breathing too elevated, especially for the warm up. All right, 20 seconds in. 10 to go. Good. Let's get one more reach and rest. Awesome job. All right, for our workout, we've got four exercises. We're gonna knock each of those four exercises down and we're gonna repeat that for a total of three sets. Number one is gonna be called the Spider-Man Plank. So I'm gonna grab a mat here where it's gonna be a lot more comfortable I'm gonna position myself in a high plank and I'm going to bring my right leg close to my elbow there and I'm gonna alternate with the other side. All right, these exercises are gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 off. All right, let's get started together. In three, two, one, ready, go. Like I said, we wanna bring our knee up to the same side of the elbow. In the high plank position, it's important that we breathe, keep our head facing relatively forward, and keeping that back nice and flat. Of course, we can always modify it. We can go down to our elbows. It's gonna keep us slightly more stable. It's gonna allow this exercise to still function in a modified manner. Of course, you can always alternate. You can switch from that modified to the traditional. And that's a good way to kind of build up that core strength to eventually get to that traditional Spider-Man plank. Last two seconds and rest. Nice job. Number two, it's called flutter kicks. You've probably seen everyone do this one. We're gonna go ahead and lie down on our back. We're going to flutter kick our legs. All right, five seconds. We'll go together in three, two, one, ready, go. So we wanna keep our head back. We wanna flutter kick. We can also modify it. And this is going to be a good modification to protect our lower back. We're going to have our hands, place them under our glutes here. 
And we can flutter kick like that. And that's a good way of creating a good angle to protect our lower back. But during any core related exercise, make sure you breathe and pace yourself. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Almost there. Breathe. Three seconds, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. All right, we're already halfway done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to that high plank position one more time for this. And we're gonna be doing mountain climbers. Very similar to that Spider-Man plank. So while you guys rest, I'll demonstrate where the knees coming forward instead of the knees going outside. All right, let's do this one. Like I said, 40 seconds on, 20 off. In three, two, one, ready, go. I'm gonna bring that knee nice and kind of just under our chest there. There we go. Make sure you're breathing and pace yourself. And of course, we can always modify that to a slower version where we're moving that knee in a way that's not bouncing like the traditional. There we go. This is gonna be in that high plank position. Just so make sure that back is nice and flat. Now you're breathing and pacing yourself. This is your workout. You can always modify it how you need. Last three seconds to rest. Awesome, all right, we got one more exercise to finish out this whole round. And that's gonna be leg pull-ins. Personally, my favorite ab exercise I'm going to sit up in a high plank, excuse me, I'm going to sit in a sit up position, extending my legs out, I'm going to lean back and pull my legs in. Hence the name leg pull lens. 40 seconds on, 20 off in three, two, one, ready, go. Extend your legs out, lean back, leg pull in and repeat. There we go. This one is a tough exercise but we can always pace ourselves so we can execute it together. You do need to modify it. You can have your hands behind you to support you. And then we're still gonna mimic the same movement all while our arms can help support us. There we go. 30 seconds in, 10 to go. Last few seconds, let's finish strong, finish together in three, two, one and rest. Awesome job, way to go. That was the first round. We'll give it a little bit of rest um, and then we'll repeat that round for round number two. That's gonna be with those Spider-Man planks. All right, getting situated back here for that high plank position for those Spider-Man planks. Like I said, we're gonna start off in the high plank. We're gonna bring that right knee close to that right elbow back and repeat for the other side. All right, let's get started on round two together. In three, two, ready, go. And it's really important in a high plank position to not lock those elbows. So that's gonna put a lot of unnecessary stress and strain on that elbow joint. So a slight bend in the elbow is perfectly fine. There we go, if we need to modify it, down to the elbows. And we can knock it out in the same manner. Three quarters of the way there, 10 to go. We got this. Five seconds, pace yourself. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Number two, you already know it's those flutter kicks. Let's go ahead and lay down on our backs. All right, we got plenty of rest. We got a whole five seconds. We're gonna start with those flutter kicks for exercise number two. In three, two, ready, go. Remember, you can always put your hands under your glutes there. That's gonna help protect that angle of the lower back. It's gonna really help prevent the lower back from doing too much work and help focus feeling those abdominal muscles. Pace yourself, another modification. This we do one leg at a time. Knock out a few for a few seconds. Go ahead and repeat on the other side. Another modification you can bring one leg up, set it down, and repeat with the other leg. 
Remembering to keep those legs nice and straight. Last few seconds, we'll finish together in three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, we're flipping around to that high plank again for those mountain climbers. All right, we've still got plenty of time to rest. Go ahead and breathe normally. And then we'll go ahead and knock out number three for this round. Getting started in three, two, one, ready, go. Mountain climbers, high plank. Bring that knee forward and control. You wanna make sure that your, your feet are as far away from you as possible and that we're not crunching up too much. You wanna stay positioned in that good old fashioned mountain climber position. 20 seconds, halfway there, halfway to go. Pace yourself, you wanna add some quick bursts. You can always do that. So you can challenge yourself for your own workout. Last few seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, we got one more exercise. Finish out this round. That's gonna be those leg pull-ins. You already know it's gotta finish off with my favorite exercise. Kind of like a treat at the end. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Legs out, lean back and pull in. There we go. Another modification you can utilize for this is you can position your feet on the floor in that sit-up position and you can just lean back. It's almost like a half sit-up and eventually as you build up the core strength, you'll be able to extend those legs out and knock out that leg pull in. Already 30 seconds in, 10 to go. Last quarter. Pace yourself in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. That's already two rounds in. We got one more round to go. The same exercises, Spider-Man plank, flutter kicks, mountain climbers. I'm gonna finish off with those good old leg pull ins. Let's go ahead and position ourselves. We still got plenty of time. It's really important to take water breaks, especially during and after your workouts. It's gonna help prevent dehydration and it's gonna help your body recover from physical activity. All right, as our rest goes, you wanna remember that we're breathing nice and calm, getting that oxygen, delivering a lot of oxygen, and nutrients to our working muscles, and of course to our brain, and the most important muscle of the body, that heart. All right, last round. Like I said, four exercises left. We've already done them. Let's do them together, just like I will finish together. Spider-Man planks, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Let's get positioned in that high plank and we'll get started in three, two, one. Ready, go. There we go. Here we go, this is the last round. We're gonna pace ourselves. 10 seconds in, quarter way in. Of course, you can always modify it down to that low plank or that elbow plank. Knock that out together. 25 seconds in, and 15 to go. 10 seconds left. Pace yourself on this. Make sure you're breathing, keeping that back nice and flat. Rest in three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Three exercises to go. We got those flutter kicks. Position myself as if I'm going to lay down. Place my hands under my glutes here. And then we'll go in three, two, ready, go. There we go, we're gonna flutter kick. This is kind of considered a low flutter kick. You can also modify it for a little high flutter kick. So we're gonna keep it down. It's about this mid to low flutter kick. And I'm gonna to remember to breathe and pace ourselves on this. You can always modify the entire exercise. So in between, you can do that single leg modified flutter kick. We're gonna finish these last 10 seconds together. Time's moving, five. Four, three, 
two, one, and rest. Nice job, already halfway done with this round. Two more exercises, we're almost there. I'm gonna get set up for that mountain climbers in that high plank position. Time's moving in four, three, two, one, ready, go. There we go, this is really important too, especially we don't want to crunch up, move down here. Why don't we bring those legs nice and far from us? It's going to make our core muscles, like those abdominals, do a little bit more work. Halfway there, you can go ahead and modify it to that slower version. That's still going to work out the core. 10 seconds left. Last quarter. Let's go ahead and finish together. Pace yourself in five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, well done. We got one more exercise before we get started with our cool down. That's my favorite exercise, those leg pull-ins. Let's get ready. So we got plenty of time to rest. All right, leg pull-ins. In three, two, one, ready, go. Legs out, lean back, leg pull-in. There we go. Another modified version of this. So you can position one leg down on the floor and we can do a leg pull in with just one leg. So we can knock out three repetitions on one leg and alternate to the other leg. Work one side, gotta work the other. And of course, we have the modified version where we put our hands behind us. And we're still gonna lean back. It's the same motion. We just have our arms supporting us. Last few seconds of this workout. Finish strong, we'll finish together in three, two, one. One more for the road and rest. Nice job. All right, as we catch our breath, this is a really good time to take a water break before we get started with our cool down. All right, so for our cool down, we're gonna utilize the same mat we've been working on. Um, some place is going to be kind of comfy because we are going to be on one knee. And we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. Hip flexors are these muscles on this crest right here that flex the hip. And when they get tight and stressed, they can really riddle some um, unbalance in, in the hip. And it, can be, it can be terrible. So we're going to help stretch out those muscles and relieve some of that tension. So positioning myself on both knees, I'm going to have my left knee down as if I'm taking a knee and from here I'm going to lean forward here that's going to stretch out that hip flexor right here in that crest we're going to hold these for 30 seconds on each leg let's cool down together in three two one and go and for static stretching this is a position for the static stretch really important that you stretch up until you feel that tension in the target muscle and then you hold that point of tension and you should never feel discomfort or any type of pain if you do feel pain back it down a little bit to where you feel the good tension that pull and then you hold that for the whole 30 seconds last three seconds in three two one good rest let's go ahead and stretch out the other side position our right knee forward left leg is back and then we're going to lean forward you should feel that stretch on that left hip flexor, right just above the leg. And then since this is a cool down, we're going to breathe, bring our heart rate and our breathing down back to normal. Are you 15 seconds in? 15 to go. There we go. I'm really sweating out that workout. I hope you guys are sweating too. Last three seconds in three, two, one and rest. All right, last cool down. It's gonna be a yoga position for all my yogis out there. It's gonna be that pigeon. That pigeon stretch is gonna be really good for those glute muscles back here. And also to relieve some stress on that piriformis and sciatic nerve. Okay, so we're gonna position ourselves in a bit of a four point here on our knees. I'm going to bring my right knee up here. I'm going to rotate that leg the right sole of my shoe towards the left side. 
And I'm going to bring myself down, bring my hips down, scooch my left leg back. And you should feel that stretch right along here on that glute and piriformis muscle. Go ahead and hold that for 30 seconds. Ready, go. This is probably one of my favorite positions for yoga as I do have a lot of tension in this piriformis area. And it's a really good way to relieve some tension, especially, especially on those occasions where you sit for long periods of time, it can cause some stress back here. It's a really good way to relieve that tension. 10 seconds to go. Make sure you're breathing. There we go. Last three seconds and we'll switch. Two, one, and switch. Easy getting up. I'm gonna bring this leg back and then our left leg, left knee comes forward. I'm gonna rotate the left sole of my shoe towards the right wall. I'm going to bring my hips down and bring my body down. I'm gonna hold that in three, two, go. Like I said, all static stretching, you do feel pain and discomfort. Go ahead and back that stretch up a little bit. Hold that point of tension. So you can unlock a lot of that tension in those muscles. 15 seconds in, just 15 to go. All right, almost done here. You can also lower it as we go about the stretch. Last three seconds, in three, two, one, and rest. Fantastic job. Ooh, I'm really sweating. Way to stick with it. I hope you had as much fun as I did, because I know I had a blast. Remember to tune back in with us every day for more workout videos every Monday through Friday. And remember to download that Planet Fitness app for more content to keep you moving. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one.